Good morning everybody. Last week on Facebook I said I'd show you how to get Sewing Street on a Now TV stick. So we've been to Argos, we've got a Now TV stick. This one was $29.99. You can get them for $24.99 but this one was $29.99. It comes with a few more passes. Um, you don't have to subscribe in order to use this to watch Sewing Street on YouTube. And we're going to show you how now. But we're going to start by showing you what's in the box. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you what you'll get when you get your box. So, let's try and open it up. So this is totally live. You'll see it's still sealed. We haven't even had a practice run. So hoping this all works all right. Okay, so in your box, you get, do get a voucher for a £3.49 movie. So you can rent movies on there if you want to. I'll just put that to one side. You get your little Now TV stick in here which is just this thing here. And it's got a HDMI output on one end that just plugs into your TV. And then it's got a little power socket in the other, in the other end. You also get lots of um, bump as well that tells you how to set it all up. So it might be worth reading through that, but we're just gonna skip that. So in your Now TV box, you also get a remote. And this remote can operate your volume on your TV and it can also turn your TV on and off. So actually, if you are using OTV, you can just use one remote for everything. You get a power brick. And this is just a normal USB power supply like you get in most phones. So some TVs have a USB socket on the back, so you can actually plug it straight into your TV. Um, other TVs that don't have a USB socket, you can just plug this in behind your TV. And then this end here just goes into the end like so. So then that effectively now is just ready to plug into your TV. So your Now TV remote runs on two AAA batteries, which helpfully come with the box as well. So they do both face the same way. So we'll just put those in. So that's us totally ready now to plug this into the TV. So you've got your box, your Now TV stick, which we've plugged into the power cable and that that will just need plugging into the wall. Okay, so I've already plugged it into the TV, but I haven't plugged the power, power of supply in yet. I'm just gonna plug that in now. But first, I'll just turn the TV on. This TV takes a while to turn on, I'm afraid. It was probably the cheapest they had in the shop. Here we go. So this TV is already on HDMI one, which is the socket that I plugged it in. Um, HDMI sockets are all the same shape, so it'll only fit in one way and it'll only fit in one socket. And to get to your HDMI slot, you usually just press source on the telly. So I'm just going to plug the power adapter into my box now to turn it on for the first time. Okay, so we've just given this power for the first time and you'll see the Now TV splash screen turn up. It's a nice chattering teeth in a football. So this takes longer to boot up the first ever time you use it. Uh, once it's all set up, it comes on pretty quickly. So the first thing it's going to do is pair your Now TV remote. Okay, so that's done now. So my remote control works. So on this screen, I'm just going to press the OK button and it's going to look for wireless networks. Okay, so I need to connect to the network in our uh, studio here, which unfortunately I can't give you the password, so I'm just going to pause in one second, not yet. So you click on the one that you want to join, in this case we're going to type guest, and this is where you put the password in. So I'm just going to pause while I put the password in. Okay, so I've put the password in using the keypad, and to navigate this screen, you just use the arrows on the TV box. So you use this to navigate around to the different letters that you want to put in. And then once you've put everything in correctly, you just press connect. And this will just connect to your home Wi-Fi. You know, just do a couple of checks, and then it'll let you know when it's all connected. Okay, so the first time you put your stick in, it will ask for a software update. So this will take a few moments. I'll show you on the bar there what progress it's made, so 10, 11, 13%, it goes pretty quickly. Okay. 
And once this is updated, it will just uh, restart the stick just to install the updates. And you'll only need to do this the first time you switch it on. Once you're using it, it just up to update, updates automatically overnight. So you'll never see this again. As well as an ATV stick, you can also do this on the Amazon Fire Stick as well, and the setup will be very similar, but we're just using the ATV stick for now because that's what I use at home, so I know it really well. Okay, so it's just restarting there. We've got the splash screen again. If we're lucky, we might get the chattering teeth and footballs. Let's take a few more seconds to come back on. There we go. So we'll just choose the network again. So the password should already be in there, so you just need to connect. Okay. So this next screen just analyzes what TV you've plugged the device into, so it understands what resolution it is and what size it is. So we just click auto detect the display and it will just look and, auto and it will automatically configure it. There we go. Okay, so we say yes screen looks good because it does. So now it's going to help us connect the volume remote to our TV. So you just press OK at this point to check remote settings. And I can hear the music playing, so I just press yes, music's playing. And I just press yes that it stopped playing. And then just press OK. So if your TV is really old, then the Now TV box may not be able to configure the box to work with it. In that case, you just skip through that. And the only difference is, is that the volume buttons, which are on the side of the box here, won't work with the TV. That's the only difference. So we just need to accept all the blurb. Just scroll all the way to the bottom. And to scroll down, I'm just using the down button. And because the remote control is not infrared, it's Wi-Fi, you don't actually need to point it at the TV. So as long as this is in the same room as the, house, uh, the box, it will work. So don't worry about where your little box is. It doesn't need to be visible. So who reads all this stuff, hey? Accept. So, because it's the first time, it's now going to download all the software to the box. And we just follow the instructions to get started. Okay, so in order to set up your Now TV device, you just need to go to a mobile device or computer and go to www.nowtv.com forward slash TV. Okay, so you can do this from your mobile device or your computer. So I'm just doing it from my laptop because I happen to have it to hand. So on the screen, you saw there was a code there. So you just go to www.nowtv.com forward slash TV. And then all you need to do, and I get an email, is put your code into this. CXIF. J8, click submit. So when you buy the box, you get a free pass, which you can use. So you can just pick whichever pass that you want to redeem. I think I'm going to do the movie pass. So, and you click join now to activate your device. So you put a title in, Mr. So you choose a password at this point. And you can optionally put a mobile number in. Okay, and we just click next. 
So you can save your password if you're using a browser. So it asks you for your address and it asks us to put the postcode in. I think in IVH we have BAT. 7DU. My glamorous assistant tells me it's 7DU. And then Okay, so next it will come to payment. So you do need to put a card in to register, but you don't need to actually pay any ongoing subscription. So once you put your details in, the free pass that you get, you will need to go to the passive screen to cancel it, but that's quite self-explanatory on your account on here. So obviously I'm just gonna pause it while I put my credit card details in, just in case anyone decides to buy a new kitchen on it. Okay, so once you put your card details in, you don't actually get charged at anything at this point at all. You can click start watching now and this will actually transfer all the details back to the now tv stick and that enables your tv stick to start working so what i will do is i'll just show you here if you go to my account and passes and vouchers in order to make sure you don't get any further charges if you just click cancel pass i'd still like to cancel back to passes and vouchers you can still you can still use the ones that you've had for free and it'll still allow you to keep watching but if you just cancel these that are on here it just makes sure you don't get charged anything at all and you can come back in here and cancel to later date if you want but it's easy to do it now okay so if we look at my passes i've got restart pass, restart pass, and that's just waiting. So I know that there's no passes active at the moment, which means I'm not gonna get charged anything whatsoever from this point forward, other than what I paid for the stick. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our TV screen. Okay, so once you've done your bit on the computer, you go to this screen, we click all done. And now this will just link the account we set up over the internet to your, to your stick. And this will just uh, update all your apps and download a few more apps as well onto the stick, which you don't need once they're there, but they do anyway. I mean, I, I use an OTV stick all the time, so it's actually worth exploring. Looking at the OTV stick, it is brilliant, especially for movies and children's TV. That's more for my kids rather than me, though. Okay, maybe I watch kids' TV occasionally. It's now engaging warp drive, no idea what that means, probably marketed speak, but it's all set up anyway, it won't take too long. We know this is a bit boring watching the whole process, but rather than leave anything to chance, we've just gone through it all exactly in real time. So when you're setting it up yourself, you can pause this video and you can just refer to it and know you're doing it exactly how you need to do it. And all this setup process is only the first time you ever use the stick. Once the stick's set up, you just literally plug it in and it's all there, ready to go. So you only have to faff with this once. Oh, it's adding YouTube now, that's what we'll be using. I promise you I'm not on commission from Now TV. Now TV, if you're watching and you want to use the video, you know, just pay me some commission, that'll be fine. Okay, so we've now got the all done screen. So we just click OK on the remote. And this will take us to the actual Now TV stick. And this is what you're greeted with usually when you turn the TV on. So this is your standard page here. 
So just interesting, I've got a five-year-old who actually navigates his stick better than his parents. He really knows how to get straight to all the TV channels. So if we scroll down to my apps, then we're scrolling down just using the up and down keys here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go across and find YouTube, which is here. And we're going to press OK and that will load YouTube. And again, with any of these apps, the very first time you load the app, it just needs to install itself and initialize. So it just take a few seconds longer the first time. So with YouTube, if you've already got an account on your computer where you've got all your playlists, you can sign in. Uh, you use your phone to do that. It gives you a code like we just did with Now TV. Or if you don't want an account, you can just go down to skip and skip. Okay, so this actually looks like YouTube in my living room with all the children's programs. <laughs> so in order to find Sewing Street on here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go across to the search icon. So we're going to press left, which takes us onto this bar. We're going to press up to search. Then we're going to press right. And we're just going to type in Sewing Street. Testing my uh, spelling now. Oops. <laughs> just uh, demonstrating how not to spell. And our space is down here. Oh, and uh, I remember those, they were good. So Sewing Street's actually number three. So if we go back to the left here now and go down to Sewing Street, press OK. Here we go. So you'll see we've loaded up our channel. And if we press the arrow keys, we can actually choose a show that we want to watch. Or we can click on here and see all the content. So this was one day ago, so this was yesterday's show. Let's uh, see. John Cole Morgan with his creative grid, so we just click OK. OK. And the beauty about YouTube and watching it this way is all the shows are all on there, so you can go back and just click any show. And if you actually search Sewing Street and the date, you'll get the show from that date. So there's no need to record them all on your telly and fill your TV up. Oh, and here he is. So we can use the volume buttons on the side here to turn him up. I don't know if that's picked up on my microphone okay, but... But because this, is, this, because this is fed straight from our studio, the quality is actually higher than it is going through your Freeview TV at the moment. Obviously, as we move to our permanent studio, you'll get a better picture on Freeview. So you can watch your sewing streets fix there. So if you press the back button, it takes us back to this menu. We can select other shows. Let's keep going. Oh, look at this handsome fellow. I'm actually still wearing the same t-shirt. I've been wearing this t-shirt for four weeks now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh God, no, get him off. <laughs> so you can view any of, the t uh, any of our TV shows are all on here. So you can do that just by searching Sewing Street. Okay, so I hope that's made it really easy for you to. I think this makes I hope this makes it really easy for you to set up your YouTube channel on your Now TV stick. So if you've got any questions, we're going to post this on Facebook. So if you post them in the comment section below, we will try and get those answered for you. Okay, so if you want to watch us live, should have done this bit first. I apologise. Um, if you just click on our Sewing Street badge here, then the first thing that will come up is our live feed. So we can actually watch it live straight away. So because of the time of day we're doing this, what time is it? It's five to one, Redditch time. This will be whatever was being repeated because we're not actually live on air at the moment during the recording of this, because I've borrowed the video camera. So this is a repeat of our show this morning, but that's how you can watch us live. So just to recap on the live. So when you search Sewing Street, you'll get this screen up where you can search for previous days. So to watch us live, just click on the circle and our live feed's there. So you can watch us live at the same time. We're live every day, which is currently between 9 and 10, but we'll obviously be live between 8 and 1 very soon. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Sorry, it's going to be a really long video, but I wanted to go into as much detail as I can. Any questions, just ask in the comments below. And thank you very much.
ไว